Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 29 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. So it's time to revive the rock. So we've arrived at the rock shrine. With this we go to the magic circle and line up the orbs. Yeah, this is somehow exciting. So let's do it quick. Alright, so, we set the orbs all in their places. Alright, this is good. Rock. Be revived from your long sleep. But nothing happens. What? What's going on here? It, don't tell me it's a failure. Maybe amongst the orbs there was a fake? No, without a doubt they're the real thing. And furthermore, but even so, we've got them set in their places and the mana isn't flowing. Yes, the mana really is far too small here. Perhaps this place is... This is probably... The roots of circulation of the mana have been changed. Ah! Now he's passing by or using warmth. Uh, lately, I've actually been feeling it's unreasonable to attempt to say I'm just a passerby. Lately? Look, do not care. What's up with the roots of mana circulation being changed? In this world, there's holy energy and dark energy, so-called mana, circulating through. So at one time, this shrine was a place where it was easy to gather this mana. So here, where you can concentrate a large amount of mana, if you set the orbs in connection correctly, then the rock would hatch from it. I mean, all of it put together can create that miracle. But in a cataclysm 30 years ago, the mana flowing along, circulating in the world, was greatly changed. Well, the Great Continent was split apart, and there's a new sea in the middle after the incident. So if the flow of mana has changed, that's actually not unexpected. So in this place, the mana cannot be gathered anymore. So we don't have the power to revive the rock anymore? From what I can see, the cause is the continent of snow. Since that continent appeared, the flow of mana has been greatly warped. Hmm, the continent of snow. At the time of the cataclysm, it floated up out of the sea, north, uh, southwest of here. It's encircled by a difficult mountain range. It's a, and it's covered in snow, completely unexplored by human hands. Hmm, interesting. A lot of adventurers have gone there, but none of them have returned. So we don't really know anything about the continent of snow. It's all mystery. There have been flying monsters that have been able to observe from a distance. Things like towns and ruins. Well, that's according to rumor. So if that's the cause of this, it'd be really difficult to solve this problem. Nero, do you have an idea here? Well, the existence of the continent of snow 
has obstructed the flow of mana. So, the answer is simple. Just destroy the continent in question. Hmm, huh? well, maybe that's excessive. No, if I teamed up with Neris, I probably could... Don't even think about it, dumbass! Yeah, sorry. I was just thinking of a plan out loud, kind of there. Huh, you're unexpectedly unreliable today. Hey, hey, I've helped you out so many times now. But I'm a little pressed for an answer here. And you don't need to be so cold. Um, anyway, I'm not telling you you need to be grateful to me. So, anyway... I'm trying to think of something here too, you know. Man, this guy is actually kind of bothersome. Well, if we don't destroy the continent... If we make it so it doesn't obstruct the mana anymore, that might work. So if you get into the continent of m snow and set down a ritual or something in order to correct the flow of mana, but we don't specifically know what's caused the flow of mana to be warped. So in the end we need to get our way in there and investigate. Huh, how troublesome. So are we going to know what's disordering the mana if we go? Hey, I am the Mao, you know. If we get into the area, we can see what's... I'll be able to perceive how the magic's flowing through it. So if you go there in reality, you might be able to come up with a counteracting plan. So that you would only have to cut off a mountain or something in order to achieve it. In the end, it's natural destruction, is it? But how do we get into the continent of snow? It's kind of like the monster continent up north, surrounded by mountain ranges. With regards to that, I've already completed my investigation. On the north side of the continent of Snow's mountain range, there is a cave that should go into the interior. So if you pass through there, you get into the interior. Of course, the path is going to be very difficult. Ha! No problem. We've already gone to the Ma'ol Castle, you know. But that was in the past. Hm. So, our next destination is the Continent of Snow, huh? Ha! Huh, Jeez, all these side trips are getting bothersome. No, the Continent of Snow itself may have a great key that we need to see. Rather than saying it's a side trip, this could take us to the very heart of the issues we've been trying to get to. Hmm, really? How do you mean by that? Well, that's something you'll have to confirm with your own eyes. What's in the continent of snow? And... Well, with that, I will be leaving you. Wait! As if telling people to wait ever works. So, he just says stuff that bothers us and leaves. Well, he's still helping out, so I guess we can't complain. Hmm. So, the heart of the matter we might find in the continent of snow. I wonder what we'll find there. Well, we don't know, but no other choice but to go. As we're investigating this disor disturbance in the mana, maybe we will unravel some of these mysteries.
Okay, on the north side of the continent, a cave into the interior. Thanks for the review, Alice. Alright, that's our next destination. Continent of Snow. So, the cause of the disorder of the mana and the heart of the matter. Now I said this, some confusing stuff, but what's waiting for us there is an answer and a farewell. On this long journey, we're finally on the slope up to the big confrontation. Or so that thing says. Look at that, it's a white rabbit. Oh, it's so cold here. I'm glad I've got so much fur on me. Are you jealous? Are you jealous of my fur? Uh, white rabbit. Are you here to get in our way again? And my role is guidance, not getting in your way. So you guys are going to go through this cave into the continent of snow, right? Hmm, but anyway, that narrow. It's not just his glasses, his eyes are clouded. So, the flow of the mana in the rock shrine has been changed. In the cataclysm, the continent of snow appeared. That's what he said, right? Yeah. If you heard that, then were you nearby? Well, whether I'm nearby or not doesn't matter. I'm unevenly une distributed, you see. But setting that aside, it's a big mistake to think that it's the continent of snow that disordered the mana. What's obstructing the mana is a certain presence that is on the continent of snow. A certain presence. So if we defeat them, the mana's flow will go back to normal? Hmm, if you defeat her, huh? Well, I don't think that's how it's going to go, but if you go, you'll understand. So, maybe you guys, before reviving the rock and all, think that this is just an unnecessary bit of busy work. What you'll be seeing here on the continent of snow is the answer itself. And here, the heart of the matter that you guys have been searching for is exi exists. Hmm, Nero also said something like that. So, from this on, I'm go from this point on, I'm going to be guiding you to the answer. But before that, there's something I want to ask. Are your hearts truly prepared for this? Once you know the answer, there's no turning back. But now, before, you can still live a normal life. Until the final day, at least. So then, let me ask again. Are you truly prepared to know everything? Ah oh, no, I've got a pussy out. Well, it's good that you're honest. So then, if you are prepared someday, come again. You can quit your adventure and live a normal, return to a normal life. You've got the right to make that decision. So then, if there's an opportunity, let's meet again.
Now that warping back to the world map is what happens if you try to enter that place before these events occurred. You won't see the white rabbit, but trying to enter the cave, bam, you're back at the world map. So is she using something to warp us out when we say we're not ready? Yeah, whatever. We're ready now. I mean, we totally spent a long time stealing ourselves for the shock of knowing these answers you've got for us. Well, we've come this far, so you think we're going to turn back? Okay then, I will guide you to that place where everything started. Hey, wait! Again. <laughs> anyway, as usual, she's got this style of acting like we're always following. Well, even if she didn't tell us to, we'd be going in. So, to say that the continent of snow holds our answer, and the place where everything started, well, let's go. If the answer is there, all we have to do is go get it. White Rabbit! Did you change your clothes? <clears throat> okay. No way, intruders! So the barrier was broken. No way, angels! Why are angels guarding this kind of place? We won't let you go any farther than this. Quickly eliminate them! Um, what? These girls actually have a lot of hit points. So, why are there angels here? Well, back when the heavens were destroyed, there were some angels that just happened to be on Earth at the time. We saw some in the hidden village in Rinka, for instance. Well, maybe. But these don't seem like little lost angels. In any case, let's continue onward. If we pass through this cave, we set foot in the continent of snow. I feel the presence of angels here and there around here, so be careful. Yeah, this is a pretty good labyrinth, actually. Where to... yeah, that's it. Whoops. So, middle portion. Those signs are left behind by the White Rabbit. At least it's strongly hinted at that. And occasionally they'll say something interesting. Okay, the Summit Snowfield. I'm cold and tired. Well, it looks like there's a gathering of polar bears here. It doesn't seem like they have us as, are taking us as enemies either. So perhaps they'll let us rest here. Well, yeah, you can rest here at this house. The sheds inside is warm. Rest here? Yes or no? Okay, so... A little congregation of... Polar bears. And that's about it. Hmm, I seem to recall a polar bear appearing earlier. Ooga! Ooga! Ah! Love you, puppy. So why am I skipping town? Because it just so happens there's a side quest we need to complete. And now that we can... And now that we've gotten to the polar bear city gathering, we can actually do it. This is the same up to this point. Oh, in the cave that was passing through the snow mountains, we found the the gathering of polar bears. 
So why don't we take her there? So we're going to take you to the place where your allies are waiting. So come along with us. Hmm. So the lost polar bear is tagging along with us for the time being. And now I have to go through this part of the cave again. It's not bad, actually. It's not all cramped like the spider cave was. Although there are a lot of obstacles for some reason. Like crystalline formations and rocks. Mm, Uh-oh, I'm lost. There it is. Here we are. So along with the lost polar bear, we get to the polar bear gathering. My friends. Thank you. Here. So we get some small metals and some crap. Well, the fish are kind of funny sometimes, but. So I'll see you again. Happy ending, happy ending. Well, it's a bit bothersome. I mean, these are strong monsters, and for them to get lost is kind of sad. But with this, everything's alright. Let's continue our journey. Our medal is Polar Bear Help Wars. So, the polar bears are making a snowman. Oh, this girl, she's the one who was lost, right? Thanks for helping me. The way they're kind of taciturn is cute. Hmm, so this is going down from the snow slopes. In any case. Let's get through the rest of this cave. Nope, I remember that. Jump over! The ones who are standing up these signs, could it be the white rabbit? Yeah, that's some, totally something she would say, isn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit more, maybe. There's something good up here. Well, she's actually telling the truth. Although... <laughs> Genji Gauntlets! I could swear I got another pair of those somewhere in this Let's Play. Where exactly... Slips my mind, but I'm sure it happened. Alright, good job, you made it. Congratulations. Rabbit. Uh, now she's making fun of us. So, we've gotten through. Hmm, the continent of snow. This is amazing. The scenery is just... snow. So, this is the continent of snow. Somehow, it fills my heart, say, guys. Oh, no, wait. That's some kind of oppressing force, I feel. So this sensation, the holy element is strong here. It seems like the very air on this continent is filled with lots of holy. 
Hmm. Well, we can see a town just to the south of us. Let's go. And that's going to be the next part, actually. Mm, I think it unlikely that there will be an Ilias aside. Highly unlikely. But if there is, you'll see what's inside this town after that. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.